Hey y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, okay? If you like what you see, please go ahead and like, share, subscribe, okay? Not be afraid to come on through and hit that bell if you want to be here every single time me and the tea team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages, okay? If you would like a personal reading from me, please go ahead and hit me up at dftarot at gmail.com, baby. Also... If you got a little tea to share, go ahead and hit me up at DFT box, baby, okay, at gmail.com. And if you would like to make a little personal offering to this channel, a little love offering, go ahead and hit me up at DF Tarot Tea, okay, at PayPal or Cash App. I keep telling y'all I love cheese, y'all. You know, just help me get a little piece of cheese, a little square, you know, a little square cracker barrel, a little, little square craft. I'm not particular. So, y'all, let's go ahead and jump into this. Listen, y'all. I just got a message, you know, there's some stuff going on in the collective in regards to being called into your home. I did not say your house where you live. I mean your home. There are some women that are being called into their homes. They're being relocated. This is just the energy that I'm getting, y'all. So I actually have no clue where this is going, but we're just going to pull because it's a message that I'm getting. Primarily from um, Bastet. I did a pull for Bastet. You know, Bastet is about femininity, protecting women, the home, the hearth, etc. That is where the message is coming from. Okay. So let's just go ahead and see what we see. Okay. To start off with a three card pool. Mm, okay, mm, child, we come out the gate with the moon. We come out the gate with the devil. We come out the gate with the queen of pentacles. Somebody, baby girl, you are being relocated. King of swords, uh, this is a double, double arcana deck. So there are two of each card. This queen of pentacles represents the queen of pentacles in reverse. This king of swords is the, is the king of swords in reverse, technically in terms of what they mean. Uh, we see the moon card here and the devil. Um, there's something shadowy that was going on around somebody's home, within your home, um, maybe even the home itself, like the, the, the spiritual elements of it, or it could have had something to do with your lease. Um, there are some things that were going on around your home, some shadowy things. Um, spiritually speaking, there is a shadowy character that has come up into the situation they that may be looking to repossess or reclaim um the home somebody that may be a relatively demonic force demonic energy okay um this person okay or this energy is something to do with a storm there's a certain storm that is coming with this person however you will avoid the storm um, God's energy is pulling you away from the storm, pulling you out of the storm. It's taking you away from the storm. It's clearing you from the storm and disarming any energetic demonic frequencies or negative thoughts that may have been coming from some people that have been attacking your home. Somebody may have had a really comfortable home and there was a certain spiritual attack against the home. Okay. Spirit is saying, God's energy is saying, you will be swiftly removed, reallocated, and elevated from that particular situation um, swiftly, okay? Somebody is going into a new home. It could be a new spiritual home. It could be your actual home, like your actual living quarters, okay? Page of Wands with the Hierophant, okay? With the Page of Cups, okay? Um, there is no, like, there will be no misadventure. Spirit is committed to putting you in a position where you come into a new home, new life, new situation. Okay. This is coming upon you point blank period. Um, and there has been warfare, warfare waged for you in your favor, in your name, in the spirit realm. Somebody did not know this, whatever the case may have been. There may also have been some domestic challenges within your home as well. Okay, there may have been some domestics, there may have been some things going on, just that we're disturbing the peace of your home. Um, Spirit says, baby, it's a wrap. Okay, these things are over, these things are done. Okay, 
Um, King of Cups energy is coming through here in reverse, okay? There may be, have been spiritual energy that was coming through that was relatively... There was some spiritual energy that was trying to make you feel like you were all alone in your home or in your fight for your home or whatever spiritual elements is going on around the home, okay? Or the house. Because spirit is moving you to a home or revamping your household to be a home, um, okay? And that spiritual warfare has been launched on your behalf, okay? And you will be made an offering um, as this situation begins to wrap up. There is an offering that is going to be made for you uh, on your behalf, etc., etc., okay? Just something to keep in mind. Just something to keep in mind, okay? We see the hermit, okay? Somebody has been doing their thing in terms of their prayer life. You've really been praying. You've been praying for a breakthrough. And what you have done is bring down a lot of the strongholds or negative energies that were trying to find a foothold in your life. Baby, you didn't put an end to them. You are about to step into a brand new beginning of total victory in terms of the passion and energy that you have for your home. Somebody is about to go into a whole new space and energy in regards to their home. And there's going to be a lot of new life in your home. I don't know what this means. It could mean, I'm going to tell you what I'm hearing. Babies, flowers, pets. Um, some types of offers, like somebody's going to offer to do work in your house. Somebody is going to be valid. Somebody's going to say, you know, um, I heard you need your floors done. You know, you didn't, you know, I was a carpenter. Okay. You might get some offers that are about to come to you. I'm literally seeing coupons. There may be a coupon that comes in the mail. What, what the coupon going to say? Okay. There may be something that comes in the mail that is about to make you uncomfortable with the house that you are, that you are in, okay? We just pulled this one at random. I don't know if you are the one. Something may make you feel like, you know, a coupon, an offer, something that's going to make you say, if they offering shit like this, maybe this ain't the place for me, okay? Something is going to make somebody kind of rethink where they are, and you're going to move into a much better situation, okay? The poet, it was written, it was, it is so Okay, the wise one. Somebody is about to go up into another rank. You're going to move into a home that has spiritual significance, okay? Or your home is about to become one of spiritual significance. Someone was in a dead spiritual home and it was dead because of either domestic issues or it could have been the literal location of the place. Y'all, what's going on? What's going on? Okay, what's going on? I'm trying not to bang my cards, y'all. Say that get on y'all nerves, so I'm trying, okay? I'm trying. Y'all know I like to keep it ghetto, baby. I like to bang my cards, okay? That let me know that spirit is with me. Amen. Okay, but I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to be nice to y'all. That way y'all's little headphones doing this reading, okay? I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do it for y'all. I'm trying to do it for the earbuds, okay? The walker. Okay, somebody, you, you know, it's an unknown journey. You're about to end up in this new home. You don't know where you're going. You don't know what is going on here, but you are moving into a new space. Okay, the space will be very fulfilling for you. Do not be afraid. Okay, somebody, you just, all you got going on is fear. Okay, it's like, I don't know what's going on. Ace of Swords in reverse. You're not clear. You don't really know what it is that God is about to do. God is about to take you into the full energy. You're about to jump out. Into the next wave. Okay, you're about to jump out into the next level. Okay, you're being moved into another space. This space is going to bring new communion, new communication. We see the three of pentacles. That's very much giving me holy trinity energy. Okay, so do not fret. Do not be afraid. This is very much going to take you into a higher space with God. Okay, somebody is nervous. You don't have no reason to be nervous. Okay, okay. This much I can guarantee you, um, the number three is going to play a really big part in all of this, okay? Look at this, kindness, okay? The number three is going to play a really big part in your uh, forward motion, okay? We see three, three, three. We're going to pull a couple more of these, three, 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 okay? You're going to get a chance to reach your highest potential spiritually. This is going to be a better place to pray. And also, like I said, for many of you, this represents the cleansing of the home you're already in. Okay, spiritual cleansing energy. 
um, 911 courage, self-reliance, okay? Somebody has been living in total self-reliance, completely relying on themselves and, and always got to be courageous, always got to be fighting in their home, taking care of themselves. It's about to be a transformation, okay? God is taking you to a place of peace, a place of creativity, a place where there's going to be some changes, okay? Just so y'all can catch that, okay? We did go ahead and pull the 333 because I saw the number three was going to be very relevant, but we also pulled intuitively 911, 17, 17, 19, 19, and 15, 15, okay? And so there's going to be some changes and some fulfillment as you move into this season of the fool, okay? Where you're about to just jump into the next wave, okay? And know that the Holy Trinity energy is there with you, baby. The Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, okay? Or uh, Mother Maiden Crone, okay? Okay, Goddess, Daughter, okay? Holy Ghost, okay? So Divine Mother, okay? All of that, all of that. So make sure that you're, you're keeping... See, somebody's not realizing why they're being moved. Why there's a shift. But again, because there was some mysterious things going on around you, some things hidden in the spirit realm... That God is pulling you out of. God is dropping you out of one dimension and into another to get you out of the heartbreak energy that is going to come into the home situation that you are already in. Four of Pentacles, okay? Remember, this is for the collective, okay? You are holding on to something, okay? You are holding on to something. What I just tell y'all, Queen of Pentacles, somebody is holding on to something, okay? You're holding on to a tight, baby. Four of Pentacles. Somebody thinks they're trying to hold on to their self-worth. You're trying to hold on to, you know, oh, I got, you know, I got to hold on to money. Hold on to this. God is saying, I'm trying to get you to the next wave. Stop all this. I got to hold on to. I got to hold back from. God is like, actually, you rolling with me. So I'm not sure what you think is going on here, but you actually rolling with me. So you need to get into an energy right now where you're not trying to boss up and be the fiercest in the world and dominate everything. You need to drop that, okay? Drop your staff in this moment, Queen of Wands, and really just focus on prayer, Eight of Wands and Eight of Pentacles energy. Focus on prayer. Stay focused, okay? Ten of Pentacles, your legacy energy. Somebody, baby, your Ten of Pentacles is here, okay? And it's coming in the form of a renewal of your home. No, of your house that God is about to anoint and take into a home, whether that means he is moving you, whether that means he is resolving domestic disputes, whether this means that there's a different spiritual element coming into your home. God is doing a thing in the collective with the home, okay? He's turning homes into houses, okay? But how? is not home when there's two of us he's making shifts he's making changes y'all and i just i just literally did this message right the moment when i got it okay he's making shifts he's making changes Okay, he mean what he say. Page of Wands is coming through in the reverse, okay? This is no mistake. There is no blunder. He means what he says. This is Ten of Pentacles season, baby. Get down or lay down. The lovers, okay? Harmony is coming. Page of Cups is coming. This is a time that the home, the house will become a home. The, the, the home will become a hearth, okay? Something divine, something that represents fertility, something that represents water energy, something that represents transformation, meditation mediation um i'm just seeing water i'm seeing so much water there's going to be emotional health there's going to be a space for positivity positive affirmations kids are able to grow better there's going to be a shift in the energy of the hearth as it relates to the divine collective ha 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 okay i'm getting this message very clearly very purely very strongly there is a shift that i don't even want to say it's coming it's happening beginning in taurus season again i did say there was going to be a lot of good news and fluctuations and transformations coming in taurus season if that has happened for you put it in the comment section okay in the comment section um there's a lot of shifts into rebuilding and transformation that are still going to take place in Taurus season in these last couple of days keep your eyes peeled um because it's still going down that is what Taurus season represents um I'm gonna have to pull and see what we see for Gemini season but reconciliation transformation 
is very big in Taurus season, okay? People that have been under spiritual attack, getting back to the point, as it relates to your household, as it relates to your home, you are about to come into home and hearth, okay? Period. For those of y'all that are green witches, you got a green thumb, you into root work, you like to be, make teas and, and you like to do your tinctures and your potions. And this is your season and your moment because you're about to come into a home and a hearth that supports this. My soap makers, all of those girls, okay? Shout out to y'all, okay? All of those masculines, you doing your incense. Everyone, all of us in the Divine Collective, you're doing your incense, you're doing your aromatherapy. This is the time because we're about to take those magics and they are about to manifest our homes. What I'm going to ask of you, I'm giving y'all the message the Spirit is giving me. Whatever it is that you do, it is prayer, it is tarot reading, it is um, your crystals, candle work, root work. Uh, you make your teas, you do herbal work, you burn your Palo Santo, you burn your sage, you burn your um, cedar, whatever it is that you do, you need to do it and do it with a written manifestation or spoken, spoken manifestation of your desire to enrich, renew, or get a new home, house, home, okay, a home, a hurt. That is where we are right now. Whatever it is that you do, you need to be doing it in the name of a new, a renewed hurt. That is what I am hearing. Do your prayer. Some of y'all, you're using music, you're using meditation, you may be using a sound bowl. Whatever it is that you're doing, you want to make sure that you are doing it to bring in a new hearth, a new home, a new divine space because it is going to bring with it or take your Ten of Pentacles with you or it is going to bring some people into a Ten of Pentacles. For those of you that have been wishing for a home, a hearth. I'm not talking about, I just got some place to stay. I'm talking about a feeling, a spiritual place, a dimension. The divine is saying that she is taking you into a place of spiritual hearth and dimension. This is where we are, y'all, 2024, okay? This is the message. Y'all know I'm doing a lot of just pulling at random, okay? Pulling at random, wealthy man. Food, hunger, communal living, okay? Courtship on the bottom of the deck, okay? Scribe or writer, I told y'all it was written, it is so, okay? Getting to know each other, high honor, okay? Religious factors, romantic feelings, trees. It's about grounding, knighthood energy, okay? This is a situation that is coming out clear as day in the elements of the cards, these are all family oriented. Remember, scribe, writer, it is written, it is so. I keep telling y'all this. There's religious factors involved here. High honor, you are being blessed. Somebody is being blessed with a home, blessed with a hearth, okay? Something that you wanted, something that is often such a representation of the feminine, okay? Remember, we're talking about fertility, energy, a place for you to do your grounding trees. You may have a yard if that is what you want. People that like to plant romantic feelings, this will enrich your love life. You guys will be somewhere where you're more comfortable comfortable and more safe. Okay. High honor. Again, you are being blessed with high honor. It is a high honor to have a home. I did not say nothing about where you stay at. Ain't nothing wrong with having somewhere to stay, baby. We all need somewhere to stay, but this is about your home. Okay. You are about to be blessed with your home. For some people, it will actually be a home. Like, oh my God, all of a sudden I have the resources that I need to purchase a home. But it is not about the actual physical space. It is about the, the dimension, okay? It is about the feel, okay? It is about what can be grown in this space because of its spiritual disposition, okay? So that's what we're really talking about here. More than anything, y'all, we're talking spiritual disposition, okay? Sometimes a, a house is not a home because of some of the presences that are there spiritually, but this is not, this ain't that, okay? Listen to your intuition as you move forward, okay? This home will present you with some levels of purification, okay? Seven of wands, okay? Purification. There may have been some energies that were hanging on to you, holding on to you that you didn't know nothing about, okay? They are being called out. 
twilight surrender to the last hour when the light barely touches the flowers somebody has been you've been exhausted you've been like what is going on i'm not i'm not comfortable what's going on in spirit baby it's over it's going to be resolved in the final hour everything is going to be fine and you're going to manifest times four that is literally what i just heard okay spoiled eggs Baby, all them spoiled eggs is finna be gone because what you did not realize, somebody had some spiritual energies in their house that was not right. There may have been people, like you want to get these people the hell out of here, okay? So it may have been people and it may not have been people. It may have more or less been the physical, the spiritual aspects of the thing, the things, okay? But those things are going hammer. They're about to be sabotaged from your life. All those persistent, irritants, they're about to be gone because you are being taken into a new energy, okay? Unicorn, where your home is coming from, where your hearth is coming from, it is unique. It is something that you did not see coming, the shift in your household energy. You did not see it coming. It's not something that you wanted. You may have been focused on it, hoping you could have it, but you didn't know, okay? Failure is only learning. I move with confidence and resilience. Somebody has been doing that in hopes of getting a new home, and we mean it spiritually or physically, y'all. And you didn't know if it was going to work or not, okay? Well, that day is coming. The Lord is my strength and shield. I trust him with all my heart. Psalm 28 and 7. God heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Psalm 147 and 3. Okay? In him, my heart trusts and I am helped. My heart exalts. And with the song, I give thanks to him. Psalm 28 and 7. Okay? Our lives are in God's hands and he keeps our feet from stumbling. Psalm 69 and 66 and 9. Okay. So stick to your faith through this time because I'm getting a vibe that it's a transitional time. Okay. Release resentments about money. Some of y'all, you've been thinking money this, money that. Girl, money don't matter. Okay. By next March, your life is going to be 100% different financially just so you know. Okay. March and coins. Oh, y'all thought I was playing? Okay, teapot. Okay, some of y'all are going to have really, really good friendships, able to chit chat and do your thing with other women. You're also going to be in a position to have a kitchen that allows you to really do your thing in it. Okay, it's a shift coming. Y'all already know the sun is rising on your life at this particular time. You are being taken into a new season. Do not resist. Okay, have compassion for those around you, but also have compassion for yourself because some of y'all may be nervous or scared because your circumstances or situations are changing very rapidly. Okay, but you've been at a standstill. What you don't know is the housing situation that you have been in was one that had you in a standstill. You just didn't peak game, but it had you in a standstill. There are some things that God was trying to work in your life that the spiritual energy of where you were or what your house used to represent just was not going to do it. The Lord will be your light forever. Isaiah 60 and 20. Okay. You are being taken with God. You are being taken into the light. You're being taken into a new energy. Okay. You are profoundly clairvoyant. So know that the energies and intuitions that you are getting are correct. Like follow your intuition. It's, it's time. It's time for something else. Okay. Make sure you stick to your integrity through this time. Continue to pray. Continue to believe because it's that time. Okay. Pay attention to the things you hear. Don't let any old thing in your spirit because you're going to need your faith. Okay. Ear chakras. Beware of liars. And I'm going to tell you who these liars are. These liars are people that are going to make you feel like the way your house is, is the way that it should be or is going to be. And no, it's not. And I'm hearing relatives. Okay. These people may very well be relatives and they want to pop their shit because they want you to stay in an unholy position, in an unholy household. They want you to stay where you are, where you're at. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I trust in the steadfast love of God forever and ever. Psalm 52 and 8. Trust God and move forward. Somebody in your family, you know, they're coming through. They being a liar, okay? They want to make you feel like ain't nothing on the other side of it. Baby, yes, it is. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. Psalm 31 and 24. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Psalm 27 and 14. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. Okay. I'm going to say that one again. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. Psalm 29 and 4. 
I did that with y'all a couple of times. Okay, star. Guarantee success. Period. Period. Dog. Dogs, get together with friends, okay? People that are loyal. Not those family members that don't believe, that's going to sit back and talk garbage when you are walking into your alchemy and healing that is coming from the Divine Mother. Shout out to all set. You are walking into your divine healing, okay? Don't let nobody take that from you because they, they, they shit ain't right. Okay, manifestation power. This is your time to manifest and God is walking you into this. Gracious words are a honeycomb sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Proverbs 16 and 24. Again, do not allow yourself, align, align yourself with people that are sitting around talking crazy. You walking into your season of abundance, though I'm telling y'all, for some of y'all, you're not sure where you're walking. I'm telling you, you're going towards abundance. This is your season. It's the beginning of a new journey. You are being moved into a new season to reset. Girl, go ahead, jump off that bridge and jump into that new wu-wop, okay? God is calling you to something new. Be happy, yes. Leap for joy for a great reward awaits you in heaven, Luke 6 and 23. All right, all right, all right. Okay, Nematona, sacred space. Make sure you create a sacred space in your home, okay? Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. Make sure you do that. Girl, 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 make sure you do that. Okay, we see Cain. Pay attention to your health, okay? Pay attention to your health and make sure that you're keeping yourself eating well and all of these new beautiful things in your new space. Do not allow yourself to get stressed because you're not quite sure where you're going. Okay, period. Make sure that you are not seduced by third-party interference during this time, okay? Know that you have power and it is real. Again, improving your health. So this new home housing hurt situation does help someone improve their health. Some of y'all need that, okay? And make sure you celebrate this as it is coming because I'm telling you it's coming and put it in the comments when it comes, okay? Because I already know, okay? Because this one just came to me. So this is something that's going on in the collective. I do believe people are women, especially women, Divine feminines, dark feminine energies, all of us off up in here are being ushered into our new season in terms of housing, okay? Guiding children, okay? Tomorrow, okay? Remember, you are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. For those of y'all that are mothers, this is going to be a blessing to you when you move to this new home. Pregnancy, oh. I'm telling y'all, some of y'all that thought it wasn't going to happen again, some of y'all that thought it wasn't never going to happen some of y'all that ain't thinking about it, because remember, this new home, this hearth energy brings with it fertility. It brings with it um, comfort. It brings with it nurture. It brings a lot of mothering energy here, a lot of nurture. I'm telling you, it's going to be some pregnancies in these new houses, okay? But that's where some of your power is coming from, so don't be mad. Remember, Full card energy means beginning a new journey, jumping into a new space, starting anew. So when you look at the full card and see that the full card journey and energy is governing this particular conversation, we did see that in the reading, you got to be ready to hop into a whole new journey, okay? You got some new stuff coming and you weren't even up on it. You understand me? This is a time for your awakening, okay? Don't get it twisted, okay? This is a time for your awakening. Success. Trust and faith. It's that time, okay? Previously, it was not the right time. And some of y'all are still on that kind of time. Like, oh, this ain't it. Baby, it is it, okay? Because where you were, something deadly was growing in the garden. Y'all thought I was kidding. I'm really not. So compromise. Respect the fact that you are being taken somewhere else. Quit fighting God on it, okay? Like I said, it could be a domestic situation where someone, I'm, I'm hearing someone may actually, like your living partner may be going on and leaving. Some of y'all might have had children that were disruptive and they're going on off to college and it's going to change the whole flavor and flow of your house. Do not fight this, okay? Make sure you're communicating clearly in your prayers, okay? And make sure you're sticking around helpful people that are going to be able to help you spiritually because they're spiritual and they understand what's going on, okay? It is up to you to go ahead and embrace this journey, but know that it is that time and you're going to be taken into it regardless. So it would be to your best benefit to embrace it, okay? Look for a sign. Consider this reading your sign. Be assertive as you move forward. Okay, stick your chest out and embrace this with everything you have. Make sure you speak with your angels. Again, stay in prayer. Again, stay around helpful people and listen to your intuition, okay? Because it's a new season, okay? 
In the next few weeks, somebody is going to be in a whole nother vibe, a whole nother mindset, and everything going to be different, even with your money by next March, um, okay? You've been through the valley. Somebody has been through their valley season in terms of their housing. God is saying it's over. God keeps an eye on his friends. His ears pick up on every moan and groan. Psalm 34 and 15. I'm going to say that one twice. God keeps an eye on his friends. His ears pick up on every moan and groan. Psalm 34 and 15. Some of y'all have been going through in your housing situation and you didn't even know that God was listening. But listen, he was listening. Listen, he was listening. Okay. Let your unfailing love surround us, Lord, for our hope is in you alone. Psalm 33 and 22. Okay. And we're just pulling that random here, y'all. Okay. Just pulling. We just pulling from a junk box, y'all. Okay. And we letting we letting spirit lead us. Um, divine messages all up and through. Okay. Meditation brings answers. Do not forget that. Okay. Go outside. Get you some fresh air. Okay. Communicate with your twin flame if you know who he is, girl. If not, you know he coming. Okay. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the most high will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Psalm. 91 and 1. How many times, girl? Rely on your intuition. Y'all know it's time for the next phase. Do not be afraid, okay? Whoever you have around you that you believe is a false person, they are. Do not question it, okay? Look for your soulmates. That's in terms of friends as well as lovers because that's where the clarity lies. That's where you're going to find people that can bring clarity, okay? Okay? Immersion and intuition. I keep telling y'all, okay, false indigo. Make sure you're keeping your eyes peeled for people who just ain't who they say they are. Okay? Atlantis. <coughs> y'all, pardon me, but Atlantis, okay? We know Atlantis is never not spoken of. It was a beautiful home to many. And it was something that um, even in its, even in its, Years and years and years of being perhaps a myth. Okay. It's never not spoken of as one of the most beautiful places. Okay. Um, I believe that it was. Was it. Um, the God Hermes that. Was it Hermes that supposedly occupied Atlantis at one time? Great wisdom is beautiful things. When it was a home it was one of the most beautiful homes that could be had. Okay. So know that there's beautiful things coming. Okay. There's influence coming to you, so be patient as you are going through this journey, okay? And keep your hope, keep your head up high, um, and know that God is taking you where you're supposed to go, baby. Romance is coming too. Oh, okay. In your presence, there is fullness of joy, Psalm 16 and 11. The word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all that he does, Psalms 33 and 4. I'm going to say that one again. The word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. Okay. Unanimity and harmony is going to happen quickly. You're not even going to know what's coming. People are not even going to realize you're the one that's getting the blessing. It's going to happen. You're going to just get taken through this path in these few weeks to come. Okay. Some of y'all, y'all already know this is coming though. Maybe you wasn't prepared. Know that your guardian angels, your ancestors are with you. They are pulling for you and taking you through. Get prepared for some date nights in this new home. Okay, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Numbers 624 and 25. Okay. Period. Um. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. 1 John 5 and 14. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they come from me. Psalm 23 and 4, okay? The Lord will guide you always. Isaiah 58 and 11. And I'm just going to read this one one more time. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they come from me. Psalm 23 and 4. This is the scripture that Pac started so many tears with. <laughs> Shout out to Pac. If you have enjoyed this divine feminine tarot tea, 
please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe, okay? Do not be afraid to come on through here. Hit that bell if you want to be here every time. Me and the T team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages, okay? And if you would like to make a personal love offering to little old me for a little piece of cheese or something like I be telling y'all, little Swiss cheese, little this, little that, go ahead and hit me up at DF Tarot T on Cash App or PayPal, okay? And as always, I will catch y'all in the next one. Uh.